Welcome to Change Your Life to the I'm Pastor Becky Tirabasi. Today's March 28th. We're in the Change Your Life Daily Bible Study Bible Edition. All over the world, people are reading through the Bible with me. And what are we doing? We're reading Old Testament and New Testament to hear God's voice. Well, today's the perfect day to read in Luke chapter 8. It's the parable of the seed and the soils. And there's four kinds of soils, rocky, thorny, footpath. The point is the good soil is one that multiplies and produces 60, 100 fold. And I would imagine you want to be that kind of person, as do I. I want to be able to hear God's word and produce what? Fruit, results, a harvest. The last verse, um, or the last verse of the parable, the first time Jesus tells it, he says this, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. In Deuteronomy this week, we're also hearing Moses say over and over and over, here's God's word, but you must listen and obey. If you've ever had a parent or a boss sit you down and say something like, you just got to understand this. In other words, they're saying, you really haven't gotten this. And the point of being soil in which the seed can produce and multiply is that you have taken in God's word, you understand it, and you're willing to obey it. Meaning, not fight it, not disagree with it, not run away from it, not second guess it, not doubt it. And that's what we see in Deuteronomy. The people of God were given his word and they hadn't even gotten out from under the little mountain and on their way into the promised land before they built a calf and threw it all to the wind. Well, that's life. We do this. And so Jesus comes to say, look, y'all, the seed is going to be planted wherever you are. Don't let the cares of the world, don't let the pleasures of this world, don't let the devil take away what God gives you in his word, which is meant to produce fruit. And you can say fruit of the Holy Spirit in your life, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't need that? Or produce a harvest of souls, meaning the people in your life who need God so much, you could be a part of bringing them to God by giving them the word, hosting a prayer meeting every week, taking them to church. It's very proactive. When we understand God's word, we get right in the game. We become part of uh, his ambassadors. We become his ambassadors, reconciling others to him. Will you open the Bible today and let it change your life? I hope so. Amen? Amen.